After a traumatic loss, one man turned to music and mindfulness to help him heal. Have a look. Music is the one language that everyone can understand. I would sit at the piano for hours to just feel that pain out of me. My world completely shattered with the death of my sister. 12 years ago, I went through the most difficult time of my life. I was overseas traveling with my little sister, Marielle, when there was a terrible, tragic accident, and she was killed instantly when a truck hit the motorcycle she was riding on the back of. I went through an incredible depression. I truly didn't know how I was gonna move forward in my life, and I turned to music. I started to feel that healing and overwhelming love. I felt compelled to share this experience, which was very private for me. For most of us, it's difficult to kind of go through that process on our own, and that's why the mind travel experiences have become so healing for so many people, because they are able to feel through the experience as well as be in togetherness with the community. Something magical happens when you put headphones on. You immediately go into this very intimate, individual space. And then you look around and you realize that you're having your own alone moment with so many hundreds and hundreds of other people. We take people up into the mountains or through these silent hikes. We've also taken people in a deep immersion underwater in swimming pools. At the end of the experience, there's something healing, there's something magical. Artist and composer Murray Hittery joins us. I love what you're doing. <laughs> I just want to say that. And, and even just watching the footage, mm -hmm. I can feel um, the power of what you're providing these individuals that, that go on these hikes and have this immersive experience. How does that work as a tool for them? You know, the ingredients behind the experience are bringing together, of course, music, but nature is such an important element to it. Nature is so healing just being immersed, whether it's by the ocean or in the forest, in the mountains. And then the key component to it is the community, the fact that we're all sharing and doing it together. And between those different elements, it brings it together in such a powerful way. And ironically, we're using technology with the headphones to actually connect us more deeply, right? Whereas typically in our daily lives, technology can distract us, right? We're all digitally so busy, mm -hmm. social media, texting, email. We can easily be brought out of the present moment and this actually enables us to use technology to create space internally and connect our internal world with our external world. Marie, I love what you said in the beginning of that tape piece that music is the love language that everyone understands. Yeah. And it's just so true, no matter what language you speak, everyone understands and responds to music because music triggers and amplifies and helps you to express emotion in your own way. And as a musician, you've really found this as a way to help people move through different types of issues. So what are some of the types of issues that people come to you with and, and talk about? The kind of stories that I hear um, after these events or at the events um, is stories with a huge range of age groups and people going through different things. I've had people approach me going through the most profound grief, really connecting with my own personal history, my own experience of creating this from that place that I went through, but also the kind of micro stresses, the micro traumas that we're all going through every single day, right? A tough day at work, a difficult conversation with a loved one, um, a situation, you know, whatever it might be. And so there's really a range. Um, I you know, had someone come to me and say um, that they were looking for their uh, husband in the house and they, she found her husband out on the porch just listening to one of the uh, recordings of mine. And he was just finding his own moment. And she then joined him and then other family members, the kids then all joined, and they just sat in silence, sitting outside, mm -hmm. taking in that moment. There's something so powerful about just being in silence together mm -hmm. with music that bonds us so closely. When you did this and you were trying to get over or get through the process of losing your sister, was this music putting you in a place with her? Was it putting you in a separate place? What was it doing for you? Yeah. Something I realized through the music was that the deeper the pain, the deeper the grief, it equates directly to the depth of the love. 